Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy New Year's to you. Hopefully you guys had a safe one. I was sound asleep nice and early, and here it is early, and I'm out in the garage. I'm going to try to get some work done today on this Slam Civic. All right, so when you're putting the main bearings in, there's only one way that they go in, and uh, just make sure you get them all flush with the block, and I'm going to put some of the Permatex Ultra Slick Engine Assembly Lube on there. dab on it each one that stuff is pretty messy pretty gooey probably because it's cold just take it smear it around Coat your bearing. Now we're going to set the crank in. And then when we do that, we can put our, uh, our thrust bearing, thrust washer, or whatever you want to call it. And what this does, it prevents, you know, when you're spinning your crank and there's no oil in it and everything's fresh and new. Since the oil system's dry, you're not scoring up your bearings. Watch out for you, Doc. Watch out, baby. I'm going to set this in there nice and gently. All right. Now we can put our uh, thrust washers. All right, in. when you're installing these, let's see if I can see the cutout right there. Well, that's for oil. You want that facing your crank. That way, your crank's getting lubricated. It's not running on this totally flat surface, which that rides on the block. So, let's get these slid in. two that's in and you slide the crank back make sure flat sides on the block fish it down in there and it's a little tight Gotta try to slide the crank back a little more have to turn it to kind of help guide it in that's perfectly all right all right thrust washers are in all right when you're putting your girdle on there's only one way it goes on you know you got your oil feed passage right here so carefully set it down in there and what I like to do Get my dead blow and I lightly tap on it so the dowel pins go in the block. Now you don't want to smack on it hard, you just want it to pop down in there. Now 
wouldn't recommend using a hammer because then you just put chips and all that in it. Alright, now it should cool down the rest of the way when we install our... Alright, I'm going to add this in there. <clears throat> if you notice, these bolts for your girdle, you have two different lengths. The longer ones go in your center one. So that's what? Three holes over each way. So your center, that is where your long bolt goes. So I'm going to get all these in there and we'll get to torquing. Alright, let's get this rocking. So, crankshaft for the torque specs on all your bolts. Your first sequence, there's two sequences. First one is 18 foot pounds. And the second one is 38. And I'm going to get started on that here in a second. So, just basic, you know, typical uh, cross pattern. Alright, just want to make sure. It's all pretty much, you know, the same. Let's see, here's 18. One, one. Notice how you cross over on them. Nine. And ten. Now, we're going to rock it up and bump it up to 38 foot pounds. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And what I do for a little reassurance, I'll go straight on down the line. That was good. 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 All right. Now, next, what we need to do make sure the crank spins. Alright, spins freely. I don't hear no grinding. I'd say the crank is good. Okay, so this is what I'll be using for you know the uh, the oil pump to help seal it and also the cap for the uh, rear main seal. I'm gonna use this. I sat there for like five minutes reading each one and this sounds like it's going to be my best bet i didn't get the honda bond that's what i wanted but hopefully this works i want to make sure i got everything wiped down 
with his microfiber. I want to make sure I get much of that cleaned up as I can. And feels like it's good. Don't feel like there's any oil residue on there. Alright. Now when you're putting sealing on something, you don't need to go over a kill. I put a nice thin layer on that. A little around the o-ring just for a little reassurance so let's see try to clock it Just tap it on until you start seeing the gasket maker start to squish out of the crack. And let it sit for a minute. I like to let it sit for about five minutes. And then I will torque down the bolts. Alright, so I got the oil pump on everything. I'm about to get the uh, tensioner off get that swapped out I went ahead and put my block guard on so just another step ahead just want to make sure it's it's flush with the block that way you, you don't have it raised up which I'm sure when you put the head on it uh probably push it down the rest of the way but you don't want to cut into your head gasket so I recommend using a rubber mallet or a dead blow hammer. The rest of these bolts on there. You guys are wondering what water pump I'm running. That's the water pump and the part number. I want to get this buttoned up on there. Get my uh, bracket on there for my alternator and. I think it's uh now I gotta put my tensioner on there. Right. So I'm about as far as I can go on the motor for now. So what I'm doing now I'm just cleaning up, painting parts, getting stuff, you know, a little further ahead. Uh I'm going with the let me stand behind here, make sure you guys can see that. International Harvester, high gloss enamel. I already put a coat on there, sanding it down. Clean it again. I'll rock it again. All right, guys. 
Well, in this video with this, uh, you know, I got this side almost all the way polished out. And you can see on the firewall right there by the fuel filter, that's where I stop. So I got all the rest of that to clean and clean the subframe right there and probably paint it. I'm going to leave the engine bay green. There is some spots I could probably touch up like there and on the strut tower or whatever. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to mess with it. Just send it. Try to keep it clean. Unless if I can find some paint match and a spray can, then I could touch that stuff up. But if not, then it's just going to stay like that. But definitely cleaning up nice. Yeah, I'm digging. I'm still debating on whether to keep the power steering or delete it. Uh, cruise control, that is getting deleted and it's out of here. I did delete the AC system. I don't need it. You know, if I need to cool off, I'll just go faster, right? <laughs> but that's it for this. This is part one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get back to scrubbing down. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.